Good afternoon. Today we're going to look at another church word that is used often, both by Christians and non-Christians, but it's a word that, like the other words we've been looking at, is often misunderstood. The word today is forgiveness. Forgiveness stands at the heart of our Christian faith. We believe that Christ died in order for our sins to be forgiven, and that in doing so, he set an example for us to follow, that we also are to forgive one another. We say it every time we pray the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about what forgiveness actually is. Forgiveness does not mean forgive and forget. It doesn't mean you pretend that the offense never happened. It doesn't mean that if you forgive someone, you're never allowed to bring it up again or even think about it. In fact, I would say you could only forgive someone if you remember what they did. However, it's what you do with that memory that matters. Forgiveness doesn't mean that if I forgive someone, I have magically erased all of the negative feelings that I have about what they did, all of my anger and my pain or my mistrust. And if I find myself still feeling upset about that person or what they did, then apparently I must not have forgiven them. That's not true. See, forgiveness is not an emotion. Emotions come and go. We don't have a lot of control over them. But when you make the decision to forgive, it will have an impact on your emotions. It takes time. Sometimes it never happens. I've spoken with people who have forgiven decades ago but are still struggling with their emotions. They will likely surface at least from time to time. One more. Forgiveness doesn't mean that there's no consequences, that if you forgive someone, they got off scot-free. Now, there's a difference between punishment and revenge, trying to get at someone or make someone pay for what they did, and facing the consequences of what they've done. Actions matter. What you do makes a difference. It has an effect. But it's what you do about those consequences that matters. Forgiveness means, I remember what you did. I'm bothered by what you did. It has affected me. But I choose not to hold it against you. Forgiveness means I might be angry and disappointed and upset, but I choose to deal with these emotions myself. I will find a way to handle how I feel about you and not push it on you. Forgiveness means there are consequences, but I choose not to hold you responsible for the consequences I face as a result of your actions. Because I forgive you, I will take those consequences upon myself. You cannot force someone to forgive you. If you refuse to accept consequences, if you get upset that they bring it up, if you make no room for them to voice their feelings, that doesn't mean that they've now forgiven you. It simply means that you are adding to the offense that you've already committed by acting in these ways. Now, there are some things that are pretty easy to forgive. If someone bumps you in the grocery aisle, for example, although I guess maybe in the days of COVID, that means a little bit more than it used to. But there are other things that are much harder to forgive. When property or life has been damaged or ruined, when someone or something very dear to you has been destroyed. Only the person against whom the offense has been made can gauge how hard it is to forgive that offense. Now, if you haven't picked this up already, let me make it clear. Forgiveness is not for wimps. It takes great strength of character and will to forgive. It is the weaklings who say, I won't forgive. It is the strong people to, who say, I choose to forgive. I make a choice to carry the burden that forgiving you places on me. However, if I don't forgive you, I am simply choosing to carry a different burden instead, the burden of anger and pain and upset. This is a burden that will eat away at you and over time could destroy your spirit and soul. Now, forgiveness is hard. Forgiveness is so hard that at times we may doubt that we could ever do it 
on our own human strength. It is only when we experience the forgiveness of God, when we recognize the forgiveness we have received, when we see the burden that he has willingly picked up from us, it is then that we find within ourselves the ability to allow God's forgiveness to flow through us to others. Would you pray with me, please? Lord God, you have set a high bar for us, a high standard. Teach us to forgive. Teach us to follow your example. Give us the strength to do so. Help us, Lord, because at times forgiveness isn't something we do once, but it is something we have to choose to do every day. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.